main ideas that we try to get across to them is that their education, nobody can take their education away from them once they have that. But also that they have a home here at St. John's. St. John's is really um, a safe place for them all the time from with their, when they're in the classroom to when they leave, when they go to high school like I did, you can come back, you can do your service hours here, you can work here, you can help here, you can be part of the community here. Then when I came back as an adult, my vocation to be a Catholic school teacher in the community where I grew up, helping young people to, to meet their goals, to reach their goals, to, for some of them to even discover that there are other options that there are other things that they can do. And so I, I hope, I know that I'm making a difference. I, I see, I have graduates who come back to visit, who, who come to show us their kids. I have graduates who have chosen to put their children into our school, so they trust in us. And I think they trust in us because they know the quality education and they know the care that we give to each child, not just reading and writing, it, it is important, it's, it's major, but also the care that we give to the individual student. Each child is a person. Each child deserves to be able to reach their own personal goal. I, I work on the yearbook committee, so every year we start our yearbook committee with our mission statement. And it's part of our mission statement. All children are innate learners who can reach their goal and, and we do all of this through, through that model of the Dominican sisters. It says it in our mission statement. We do all of this through the teachings of Jesus Christ. So, so I see that every year when I write it in the yearbook and, and, and I know it to be true because I see it in, in my kids every day and I see it in the kids who come back. The example given to me by the Dominican sisters, I still think back on it not only just as teaching, like not only as being a teacher, but also as, as being a person, a follower of Christ. And so I, I try to model it after the Dominican sisters that I met. I try to live as a teacher and as a, as a person by the model that I was given from Sister Mary Elizabeth. I, I mean, I could name them all. <laughs> Sister Mary Elizabeth, Sister Sheila, Sister Eileen Guinan, Sister Pat, Sister, um, <laughs> Sister Nora, Sister Noreen. I, I mean, even from here to Scanlon, Sister Eileen Clifford, Sister Ann Eigenbauer, I, and even the ones that I met as adults who I worked with. Uh, I worked with Sister Ann Queen and Sister Teresa Mary, just so many of them who, who helped me when I was growing up, who helped me in high school, who helped me get through college, and then who helped me to become a good teacher. Even now as the eighth grade teacher, I look back at Sister Eileen Guinan's notes, and I think, well, Sister Eileen says in, in November, I'm supposed to do tax. Okay, then that's what I'm gonna do. So I, I try really hard to follow the example that I've been given, and I hope that, I, like the same way they planted seeds in me, I endeavor to plant seeds in young people so that they can keep coming back and we can keep flourishing. I remember sitting in this very library with Sister Helen. She was the librarian here and she helped me write my essay to get into college. She, and I was already, obviously, I was already in high school and I, and I came back and I said to her, I have an idea, but I don't think it's good. And she says, write your thoughts down and I will help you with your college essay. And she didn't have to. And, and I think of examples, I, you hear stories all the time. Kids, <laughs> there was a young lady who was a graduate, she's an adult now, and she needed her resume printed because she was going for a job interview and she had no printer, the way people don't nowadays. And she came and she said to Sister Mary, may I borrow your printer to print my resume? And Sister Mary said, go right ahead. And she got the job and she came and she bought Sister Flowers because even as an adult, you know, I need a printer. Can, let me go ask Sister Mary Elizabeth. There was a high school student one time whose computer broke and they had a term paper. They came, Sister Mary, can I please type my paper on your computer? And Sister says, sure, come on in, type your paper. Because that's, 
they know that they can come here and, and help will be given.